What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, where we bring you the latest updates and hottest news about our Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today we've got a spicy topic for discussion, one that's been blowing up on social media the past couple of days. There's been some serious buzz about a potential trade involving Jaguars running back Travis Etienne. Could the Cowboys be looking to make a move for the dynamic running back? Stick around because we're diving deep into this possibility and what it could mean for Dallas moving forward. Before we get into the nitty gritty, though, let's pause for a quick reminder. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and enable that notification bell. Your subscription is crucial to us, and we're aiming to reach our next goal of 12,000 subscribers. Cowboys Nation, help us get there by hitting that subscribe button right now. You don't want to miss any updates as we head into the heat of the NFL season. Alright, let's jump into it. So, where did all this ATN trade chatter come from? It started with Katie Drummond from Cowboys Wire, who listed Travis ATN as a potential trade target for the Cowboys. This caught some attention, but things really gained traction when ESPN's Jeremy Fowler named ATN as one of five players the Jaguars might consider trading if they decide to hit the reset button this season. Now, let's break down this trade idea. Fowler's report mentioned that Jacksonville could sell off assets like Christian Kirk, Devin Lloyd, and others, with ATN being a name that stands out for Cowboys fans. But the big question is, what would it cost Dallas to bring him in? One proposal mentioned a second-round draft pick for ATN. On one hand, Cowboys fans know we've had some challenges in the second round of the draft, so why not trade it, right? But seriously, would a second-rounder be too steep of a price for ATN? Running backs in today's NFL don't typically fetch that high of a price in trades. The Christian McCaffrey deal was an outlier, and ATN, while talented, is not on McCaffrey's level. So, let's toss this question out to Cowboys Nation. What would you give up to bring Travis Etienne to Dallas? Would you part with a second round pick, or do you think a lower round selection is more appropriate? Hit up the comments section and share your thoughts. We've also got a poll running. Vote and let us know what draft pick you'd be willing to trade for Etienne. Now, let's talk about Etienne the player. Travis Etienne had back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rushing seasons in 2022 and 2023, but there have been some injury concerns. He dealt with foot issues early in his career, which could raise some long-term red flags. However, he's been solid this season for Jacksonville, rushing for 214 yards over the first four games. Not jaw-dropping numbers, but he's been the Jaguars' most consistent playmaker on the ground, despite Tank Bigsby having some highlight reel runs that skew the stats. Advanced stats tell an even better story about ATN. He ranks 15th in the NFL in rush yards over expected per attempt, a metric that factors in big plays and broken tackles. His 4.6 yards per carry and 4.3 yards after contact show that he's a playmaker who can make defenders miss. And here's a big stat, ATN has 8 explosive plays on the ground this season, which is double the combined explosive plays of the Cowboys' entire running back core. That's right, he's got more big plays than all of our backs combined. So here's another question for you, Cowboys fans, would adding a dynamic playmaker like ATN give our offense the juice it needs? Drop your answers in the comments, and don't forget to vote in our poll, should the Cowboys pull the trigger on an ATN trade? Let's not forget, though, that bringing an ATN would require the Jaguars to be willing to sell. If Jacksonville decides to hit the reset button on their season, that's when this conversation really becomes interesting. But as of now, this is all speculative, what would it take to get the Jaguars to move ATN? And are the Cowboys willing to make that deal? Financially speaking, ATN is quite affordable. He's making $2.4 million this year, and we're already halfway through the season, so Dallas would only be on the hook for about $1.3 million. In 2025, he's set to make $6.14 million under his fifth-year option, which is still a bargain compared to what many top-tier running backs are getting paid. This makes ATN an appealing long-term option, especially when you consider his age and upside. Now, here's where things get a bit more complicated. 
the Cowboys have said they're happy with their current running back situation. Remember, they started the season with Ezekiel Elliott as RB1, Deuce Vaughn as RB2, and Hunter Lupke playing fullback. But the running back rotation has been fluid, Deuce Vaughn has been taking most of the snaps, Lupke's role has increased, and Elliott's workload has been reduced each week. So, would the Cowboys be willing to shake things up and bring in ATN? Or do they believe their current stable of backs is enough to get the job done? Cowboys Nation, I'm turning it over to you again. Do you think the Cowboys need to make a move at running back? Will they pull the trigger on a trade before the deadline? Type 1 in the comments if you think a trade is coming, and 0 if you think the Cowboys will stay put. Now, for those wondering if Dallas can even afford to make a trade like this, let's clear that up. The Cowboys do have the cap space to make a move. The front office has been saying, we don't have the money, but that's not entirely accurate. They have the room, and ATN's contract is very manageable. The real question is whether or not they have the will to make a move. I'll tell you what, Cowboys fans, I think adding ATN could be a game changer for this offense. He's a perfect fit for what Mike McCarthy wants to do, run between the tackles while still having the speed to hit the outside zone. With his 4.45 speed, ATN could give the Cowboys a versatile back who can thrive in multiple schemes. So, Cowboys Nation, as we wrap this up, let's revisit the key question, should the Cowboys trade for Travis ATN? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, vote in the poll, and don't forget to share what you think the Cowboys should give up to get him.